hello we are back and I am going to paint a floral and what I've done is I painted a dark blue by Wet n Wild and now I've uh, used a, a green just a regular green color and I've painted all the leaves through now I'm going in with the sage green as a highlighter and with my brush just highlighting each leaf like this and each vine like this so it goes like that and um, this, oops, that's two, that's two. So let's go in a little bit darker, like that. You just want to see that each leaf is touched and um, pops out a little bit, like that. Okay, now as your other ones dry, I'm gonna go in with some red, like this. And I'm gonna go in with some brown like this, okay? <clears throat> and I'm going to go through each nail with the red like this and the brown like this and I'm going to go I have some blue that I've, that I've put out and I've, I'm going to make it a really, really um, Pastel. Maybe a little bit darker than pastel, but I, I don't know. We're going to end it with pastel, but let me let me just throw some of that in there as well. Um, now, like that, okay, and like this. So, we're going to have little red, blue, and brown blobs, okay? That's what I'm working on. It's going to look like this when I'm finished. Okay. So I forgot to teach. I went in with mustard and I touched in into the centers of all of the browns with a mustard color. And when I'm done, it looks like this. And I'm sorry, I totally got caught talking. In <laughs> but hopefully you can see how I did that. I'm going to go again. Let me, let me go again. I, I was going to do a, a slightly different way, but let me go again and, and, and kind of show you. Okay, so in the blue, I'm going to go in with a lighter blue and just here's my palette Dink. I'm going in right here okay so it's almost white and blue mixed together and a cloudy like blah, right there so okay with that I am going to touch touch in a little central circle and then just do a little tiny little ding 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 give the illusion of petals and give dimension to the blue, okay? And that's what I did with the with the brown, with the mustard, okay? And okay, I had to show you that blue, how I did that, so that you would know how I did the mustard one. But on the other blue ones, I am working in that palette, and I am going to go in and just top in a few leaves on the blue flowers. So that each blue flower has its own kind of design as well. And I'm not staying in frame. See, we got, we got to talking. This is this is this is my Italy here. That's what I'm going to call you. Oh, I'm naming all my clients. Well, they're naming themselves. Well, you're Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You I'm are. Fine. Yeah, you are Italy. So, so uh, we were talking about Italy, and we talk about Italy a lot, and. This is how I am doing the blue flowers, like this, and like that. Okay, so so basically it's going to be like this. Now, now this one is going to be slightly different, of course, because I'm showing you how to do what I forgot to teach. So there's that one. Lastly, I'm going to go into the reds. Let's see. Here we go. Now with a lighter red. Ha ha. I'm going to make a pink and I am going to go in and make little tiny shells of pink that way. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Beautiful! One more and I'm going to shell out, shell out, shell out. Kind of like making a basket almost. 
out, out. See? And they kind of just go and then they and then they just go in inward like that. Okay? And that gives the illusion of roses without it being the whole rose thing cuz it, you know, I don't really like painting roses. These are more uh what is that? They're more like chrysanthemum or um, dahlias yeah. and chrysanthemums. Thank you. They're not very rose-like, so we are just doing our own thing. So there is this. Okay. And I am going to add a little tiny bit of rose color here. Okay, so that will be the pattern. Oh, isn't that just lovely? So I'm going to finish that and show you. Okay, and here is Italy finished, and we are on the design that I took it from. It is um, her bedding, so now she can lounge and be fantastic, right? So let me scroll down and let you see. I put on my sexy lingerie and look at that. Do you want that in the film? That's fine. Okay. It's in. I'll get more viewers. My channel, Robin my channel will be, will be subversive. I'll have Robin paint the design on my sexy lingerie. <laughs> and my slippers. <laughs> You're going to get a hairy chest painted on your lingerie. <laughs> well, it's okay. And an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But seriously, okay. Let's go. Let's take this away so you guys can see better. I just wanted to show you. Um, okay, here is the design. And we are going to scroll up and... Here, Italy, you gotta move up like this so that we can catch the light. Okay. Both there we go. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so here it is, and I hope you guys like them, and I hope you guys try them. And if you do, please show them at my Facebook um, group page, Robin Moses Nail Art. And I just want to personally thank you guys so much for when you do copy these, that you say that I inspired you to do them, because it really allows other girls to find me that really want to learn how to paint. And, um, and I just truly appreciate that. That really helps me so much, and it keeps making me want to um, try harder and do more designs. So you guys, thanks so much, and have a wonderful night.